are you guys? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Actually, it's afternoon by the time you're seeing this because it is Friday currently and I want to get this video up for you guys today. So tomorrow is Riker's birthday party. His actual birthday is next Tuesday, but we're celebrating his birthday party with family tomorrow. And we're keeping it smaller just because of COVID, etc. Um, but I'm still going all out, like just making it like a fun little soiree. So anyway, um, I just got back from grocery shopping. Legit the biggest hot mess this morning. First off, my power went out in my house. I'm like peeing, <laughs> going to the bathroom and I'm like, and the house literally just went and just shut off. And I was like, that's good because according to my weather app, we're getting Arctic air here in Minnesota this weekend and it's like a warm three degrees for a high today like very very cold so I'm thinking great I'm not gonna have heat this weekend my power is going out it ended up coming back on like 30 seconds later it wasn't a big deal but then um I don't know does anybody else have a uh, car wash anxiety because like when I go to the car wash not like the automatic ones like where you just like go through um but like the ones where there's like the guy in the front, right? And he's saying like, he, they like rinse it off and then they, they tell you to like, they like signal for you to come forward and they're like neutral. And they like tell you to like put it in neutral. And I always like try to keep a poker face, even though I am like legit, like melting down inside because I'm like, oh my God, there's so much happening. <laughs> like these guys, am I going to run in? There's like four of them in there, right? So I'm like, I'm going to hit one of these guys and they're like rinsing off my vehicle. And then the one guy's telling me to come forward and then he's telling me to move right as I'm like watching for these guys, making sure I'm not going to hit them. And like, I know that these guys are like, well, well, hopefully well trained or like, you know what I mean? Like they know, hopefully they know what they're doing. So anyway, and then once you get up to like the moving track thing, right after they rinse you off, there's like this moving track that like runs you through the rest of the car wash and they'll like play the signal before the signal before. And they're like, Oh, oh stop, no draw. And they like scream at you. Anyway, I get so much anxiety and then I'm like, once I'm in the automated part, like it's usually fine. But I have this irrational fear that like one day I'm going to get stuck in the car wash. And it happened today. It happened today. It wasn't a big deal. It was only for like a couple minutes. But I was, I had the kids in the vehicle and it was at the worst time. It was where like the big blue like rolly thing comes over the windshield. And it got stuck in the middle of my windshield. And I was like, I'm like kind of like, you know, I whatever, like checking my email since it's automated. I just kind of like sit there and like hang out, you know. And I look up and I'm like, uh, we're stuck because Kai is like, why is it not moving? And I look and sure shit, it is stuck. It's stuck. And I'm like instant panic, right? Like my stomach sinks and I'm thinking, okay, like kind of looking around, like seeing if anybody notices that I'm like stuck because I can feel like the, the automatic track underneath me kind of going, er, er, er. like it's like, it's stuck. Okay. And I'm like, oh, all right. Um, and it was like a couple minutes later and then finally like this guy that comes and like raises up the thing they stop the car wash and they raise up the thing so i can just like drive through they get it unstuck and then i'm able to come back through again and everything was fine but in those two minutes i was like panicking sheer panic and kaya is panicking so i didn't want to panic out loud <laughs> so he just was like my face i'm sure was a gem a gem because I just kind of was like in this oh shit what now kind of like phase so, anyway that happened this morning quite eventful we sat the Chick-fil-a um, I got breakfast I am sharing a what I eat in a day over on my TikTok. so if you guys want to go over there and see all of my keto things um, I'm down 33 and a half pounds ish I'm like I bounce up and down with like the last like pound or two that I've lost just because I've been sick for the past little bit but there is your guys's weight loss update. I feel like I, I'm trying to branch out and wear new things now um, or like wear my clothes differently and like tucking my shirts in and things like that. Um, and then I am having to put a pause on my working out. A lot of you guys got after me on my last video. My doctor actually did too. Um, no working out while I am recovering from my kidney infection. So I'm going to wait until probably later on next week to start getting back on the elliptical and like working out again. All I do is like kick my resistance up to like 14 and I run for about 20 to 30 minutes. I work out on the elliptical. I don't have a treadmill. All I have is the elliptical, but I love it. It's like 
it's like the same ones at Anytime Fitness, which is why we canceled our membership. Um, it's like the pro form or whatever. Uh, but I just kick my resistance up to 14, like 13 or 14. And I just go on for like 20 to 30 minutes and it burns like up to 600 calories when you turn the resistance up that high. And then I try to like use all of my body muscles. Um, and then afterwards I've been doing a little bit of a core workout and like lower abdominal. I think I'm going to start doing some Pilates videos. Blog Pilates has always been like a go-to of mine and is actually how I lost a ton of weight in college. Um, and like tightened all of my muscles. So anyway, um, that is my workout routine right now. And that is what I'm doing for weight loss. I'm trying to put my overall health first for the next week while I finish up the rest of my antibiotics. I am trying out a whole bunch of new supplements to see if it helps me to like rid my body of these like recurring UTIs because they always go to my bladder up to my kidneys. And I just feel like that is not a good thing. So, okay guys, let's hop into the grocery part of this video. For Riker's birthday this weekend, I'm doing something called Ufta Tacos. Now, if you are not from Minnesota, North Dakota, maybe it's just like the Midwest region, Ufta Tacos are like, so think of like a fried, like flatbread or fried piece of bread, like it's like just dough, okay? And then you flatten it and then you fry it and then you put your taco stuff on top and it's usually like lettuce and sour cream and black olives and nacho cheese and like your seasoned beef or whatever. Anyways, they're so good. You can find them at like all of the fairs. They've got like Ufta taco stands at like street fairs and like like city events and like all of these things. So street fairs and um, street dances are a thing here in Minnesota. Are they a thing everywhere else? I want to know. Leave it in the comments down below. Um, okay, so I picked up some Mexican style shredded cheese. Um, I picked up some pizza. Now I got this for dinner tonight because I wanted something quick and easy. Now to stay low carb with this, I've showed you guys this before on my Instagram, but all you need to do is scrape the toppings off into a green pepper. I can't take credit for that. I actually saw it on, I think it's Janelle Rohner uh, on her TikTok. So freaking good. So good. And then you top it with a little bit of Parmesan. Definitely not a dairy free meal, but it's really good and it's quick and easy. Um, and then I always get these Cheez-Its for the kids um, in the individual packages. I got them juice boxes, which we just put. Mike and I had this mini fridge from when we were in college, and I paint, like chalk painted the front of it now. <laughs> We've had that thing for ever forever um so i'm putting it in the basement to keep the kids' drinks in um so i'm gonna put like juice boxes in there and um, we even talked about maybe getting like some muscle milk for mike because it's a workout area down there as well but um so juice boxes are downstairs i will show you guys later anyway okay so then um i picked up a couple of things of bagels for a quick breakfast this weekend slash light breakfast for um, work. He likes to bring the whole package with him and a thing of cream cheese with him for uh, breakfast at work. And I get the plain ones for the kids. They like the everything bagels, um, but I think they prefer the plain. I picked up a thing of bacon because, like I said, I'm going to have some family staying with me this weekend and we make some bomb bomb recipes. Um, with like we make some, we make some really good breakfast recipes. We make something called German breakfast, which I should really share on my channel because I've never shared it, and it's honestly like one of the most like popular family meals that we make. Um, it's super good. Also picked up some shredded iceberg lettuce for the taco bar this weekend, or for the Ucha taco bar. Um, tomatoes for the Ucha taco bar. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, I got a giant thing of nacho cheese. By the way, um, Sam's Club has the best, the best nacho cheese. Uh, you can get this. It's like seven dollars for this can. So so yummy and yeah, feeds the crowd. I mean, this is so much nacho cheese. So beware because it's very addicting. It's very good. And if you don't have a crowd to feed, don't get the can for yourself. I'm not speaking from experience. Um, and then I also grabbed um, buffalo wings. This is the kind that I eat almost every single day, you guys. This is my, one of my favorites. I have this or my Eat to Evolve meals every single day. And I, oh, 
I love wings, okay? I love them. Um, I also grabbed <laughs> American cheese. Why did I grab this again? I think on the I think on the meals this weekend we were gonna do grilled cheese, and that's why because I don't typically get American cheese. I think that's why I can't remember. Uh, and then I got asparagus for just like in general for this week for sides. Cause I realized we were low on fresh vegetables. Also grabbed um, fresh green peppers because. My green peppers every single day. Um, I grabbed orange juice for this weekend. And then they were out of like their regular milk at Sam's Club. So I got the organic whole milk. Um, they were out of like every single kind of milk. It was really weird. I was gonna look for like the lactose free that was sold out. Looked for the regular milk that was sold out. So I just got some regular whole milk. I've got two things of almond milk in the fridge right now um, that still need to be drank up. But just in case I needed something for like a recipe this weekend, I don't like to cook like my food food with vanilla unsweetened almond milk. It doesn't taste very good. So. Um, and then I've been waiting for these to come back in stock for quite a while at Sam's. Um, these are the bacon bits. It's like $8 for this bag. I feel like this is a lot less cold than they used to be. Oh well. Anyways, um, this is a staple. This is really good for like omelets. Um, we make a lot of dips with the bacon bits in there. Um, I grabbed sour cream and that is also for the taco bar guacamole for the taco bar. I could have just gotten avocados, but I am being lazy. And then last but not least, I got some sliced black olives and I got a, just like a big thing of them just because I love them in Cobb salads. I love black olives and like, like green olives and certain things, but I love black olives. All right guys, that is what I got from Sam's Club. That is what I got for the party. I have tortilla chips and stuff like that already, already ready to go in the cabinet that I just had left over. Also got blueberries, which Riker is attempting to open by himself right now, so I will be right back. Hi guys. Okay, so I have not been doing a super great job of vlogging. Um, I have, but I haven't. I've just gotten, gotten like clips here and there, like nothing super like interesting or special. I don't know. I've just been like enjoying my time and like slowing down a little bit with Riker. Obviously was able to keep up with my cleaning channel my cleaning content because that's what I have been Doing for the most part last weekend. So I was trying to get this video up for you guys on Friday But with so much cleaning and my parents coming to stay with my little sisters I literally cleaned until like they got here on Friday night and I was busting my butt and I have so much more cleaning that I need to do now it's just never ending. After they left, I straightened everything up. And then yesterday, um, the kids just completely destroyed the house again. So I'm going to be doing a whole house clean with me and um, sharing like a little bit of decor that I got in, um, some like furniture pieces that came in last week, finally. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna be sharing that over on my At Home with Morgan channel on Thursday. And as far as like an uploading schedule for this week, obviously I'm kind of uploading a little bit on like an awkward schedule this week. Usually I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and this week I'll probably do Tuesday and Friday for you guys. So today and then I'll upload again on Friday. And Friday's video is going to be Riker's birthday vlog. And I recorded all of like his decorations. And I've been vlogging pretty well today uh, for his birthday. So. so anyways, I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul for Riker's birthday party last weekend. It was super successful. I had so much fun and I can't wait to show you guys like the details and like what the cake looked like and everything. Um, I did a throwback. So today is Riker's birthday, like I said. So I did a throwback on my Instagram story of like Riker's like first like full day here on earth. And I, mm, it made me very emotional like looking back on not just like the first two years with Riker, but that like really kicked off my YouTube channel and all of my mom content that I've been posting for you guys for the past couple years. And it's just been a really fun, crazy, like life journey the past couple years. And I never would have expected this to be my life. Anyways, I'm trying to get a lot better at vlogging for you guys. I'm in a blanket right now because it's freezing in my house. I have it set at 72, but it's like negative eight degrees outside, like negative 27 with wind chill. It is 
cold outside today and my house is having a hard time keeping up with the cold on the outside but um i have been doing a much better job at like figuring out what videos i want to be posting for you guys i've got a lot of like morning routines and like day in the life of a mom of two routine i want to share just like a little bit more detailed like routine with you guys and show you like the behind the scenes of working from home and managing the youtube channels and m, &M rustics and what my daily routine looks like with the kids um in between there uh, with kai going to preschool and the riker staying home with me so i just want to share like all the behind the scenes stuff with you guys but i am super excited for some of the videos that are going to be coming up on my channel in the next little bit i have um what i feed my kids in a day or what my kids eat in a day and then i also have um a sleep training video slash day in the life going up and i'm gonna show you guys how we transitioned riker directly to a big boy bed we just went right to a twin bed i've mentioned that before but i want to like go over the details of like how i did that also side note i'm feeling i'm feeling better from that kidney infection my kidneys no longer hurt my bladder is still like a little bit sore i'm still on antibiotics i have like four days left i believe and i've been drinking so much water i just put like frozen fruit in the bottom of my water um it doesn't like give me too many carbohydrates but i still have like and it gives the water like enough of a taste and it's natural and yeah it just makes it taste a little bit better um and i've been trying to focus back on my keto i took the weekend off um just with everything going on for riker's birthday and me being on antibiotics i just like had a normal eating weekend and now today i've been refocusing on keto and getting back into ketosis and just taking really good care of my body so anyway i plan on sharing a health routine and weight loss routine with you guys as well coming up very soon so next week again uploading schedule will be monday wednesday friday and this week i will have one more video for you guys on friday here on my channel and i do have an at home with morgan video going up on thursday which will be again like a decorate with me slash um whole house clean with me i have so many things that i need to get done it's like mm, the laundry is never ending so anyways you guys if you have any video suggestions or topics that you want me to cover as far as like mommy videos let me know what are your favorite videos here on my channel are they my day in the life videos do you like my routine videos what do you want to see more of from me here on my personal channel as i'm kind of transforming my channel into to more of like blog style and all of the fun things like that um and then do you want to see like a cook with me like do you want to see cook with me videos here on my channel and related to my weight loss or would you rather me combine it in a cleaning video over on my at home with morgan channel let me know what you think down below but i will see you guys on friday and on thursday on both of my channels okay bye guys